All right, so I'm going to show you how to do reshade for Hunter Call of the Wild. This will work for other games as well. Um, their website, which is where you need to go to get it, um, is reshade. Basically, if you have a game that needs, you want to know if it's compatible with, there is an A to Z list over here. You can just control F, like the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, Hunter Classic's not on here, but it'll also tell you what rendering API you need to select. We have 10 plus, so whatever. We'll go back to the other part now. You're just going to go to the download, which is home. Okay, press download. You're going to be brought down here. This is for 442. This is the newest one they have out right now. This is November the 25th that I'm recording this, so let's probably go for the later ones too. I do know that the hotkey changed, so after you install it, you're going to pick a place for it to go. Me, personally, I brought it to the same place where well, Hunter called the Wilds folder, where you see all of this. Now, I fucked this up so many times. You need to know where Steam is launching the Hunter Call of the Wild from, because if you're like me, I had two, three hard drives, and for some reason, I have a Steam folder on... One of them that supposedly has Hunter Call of the Wild in it, but it really doesn't. It's hard to explain. But it's launching from a totally different um, place. So to check that, you just launch your Steam, go to the library, Hunter Call of the Wild, properties, go over to local files, and it'll say disk usage, and it'll tell you how many on what drive. You can hit browse local files. And it will take you uh, straight to it. And you just need to know D, Minds, and Things, which is my big folder. Steam Apps, Common, Hunter Call of the Wild, Gucci Mane. All right, minimize that. So after you do this, we're going to go here, Things, Steam Apps, Common, Hunter Call of the Wild. I put it straight in there, and you'll see why in a second. Launch it, you're going to have this little prompt right here, and you're going to select a game to install or uninstall from. And since I put it in here, the executable file that we're going to be installing it on is Hunter Call of the Wild. You select that, hit open, and then it's going to tell you to select the rendering API. And the website said Direct 10 Plus, so we're going to select the middle one. And I already have it installed, so it's just going to overwrite everything. If you hit no, you're going to uninstall it completely. If you put yes, it's overwrite. Um, yes, remember that. It's very quick, but I've done this like four times trying to fix it, so it might take it a second. Hopefully it doesn't, and hopefully this will work since I'm recording and trying to fucking do it. Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta be like this? We'll just close it. Do it again. Booyah, booyah. Wow. Wow. You're really gonna do me like this? You gonna do me like this? Alright, there it goes. Cool. It normally does not take that long. As soon as you hit it, it's pretty much done. Because it doesn't have to do a whole lot. Alright, so you're gonna have this giant, like, list of things. Check all. You're good. You can edit reset settings. It's just because you'll see in-game... Uh, the button you need to press to open it, uh, you can have a preset, and I got these presets from the same guy who done the, um, Ray Tracing 4K video, if you want to see that, it's amazing, I also have Ray Tracing, but I don't, I don't want to sit through trying to adjust it correctly, so we're just going to close out of that, you should be good, all you need to do is start the game, you can start it from anywhere, Steam, wherever, wherever, at the top of the screen, you're going to have a banner come across that will let you know that it is installed and ready. And when you're in the game, you can press Home, which is the hotkey to launch it, or POS 1, depending. Either way, it's your Home key. It's not like Shift 2 or anything like it used to be. I already have some filters on, so my loading screen probably looks a little bit different from yours. As you can see, my everything looks probably different from yours. Um, you may like it, you may not, it's okay, I'm going to show you, you got options, I'm dog. So, just press home, and there it is, 
so I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to take HDR off. Those are the two that I run, and this is what the game normally looks like. Um, you know, 80-something frames, whatever. I have everything maxed out, except heat haze. I hate that. So home, and I can turn on ray tracing. It's all right. Uh, I just haven't really adjusted it yet. There's presets that you can install that have different ones of these and you can adjust them however you want. Like, there are so many options and I got my colorfulness set to where I want and HDR set to where I want and it just, to me, this looks really good. You don't really have a huge frame impact. It may go down like two, two or three. I mean, I am running a 2070 Super and uh, stuff. I mean, this is more GPU intensive than anything. You gotta watch out though, because some of these things will kill your uh, frames, especially the ray tracing thing. Um, I mean, there's so, there's so many funny things you can do on here. Like you, you can do cartoon, which kind of puts like this cartoonish outline around certain things. Um, where is it? There's adaptive fog. So if you want to play like that, go ahead. I mean, I have two things installed, so it's gonna be a little bit different. I can play like that if I want. I don't know why the fuck I would but if I want to um, levels plus made it really freaking bright surface blur which puts like a surface blur um there was another one uh, display depth depth of range or yeah depth of range and stuff like that um DOF I got that wrong that is not depth of range but anyways it's focus, depth of focus. But uh, there's a lot of things you can do on here. Um, if you specifically want to see something, uh, the ray tracing thing, I can show you how to install that um, and get it working in game. It's just me personally, I'm, I thought I'd like it a lot more, maybe just because I don't have it set up right. I mean, we're still at 80 frames, 70, it dropped down to maybe 75. But, I mean,. My opinion, everything just looks really good. The only thing, well, actually, if you have ray tracing on, you can see through this map. I don't like that. But if you don't have it, it's just really col like colorful. So if you want to play with some shaders on and make your game have a little bit more brighter colors and vividness, then you can you can do it that way. Um, and there's a lot of other options as well. You just sit around and play around with them. Uh, but mine's colorfulness and HDR. That's the only thing that I'm going to be using. And if depth of um focus for screenshots and the like and everything so hopefully this helped you guys if there's anything that you think i may have missed please let me know i don't think i missed anything at all um that was for reshade 442 like i said so hopefully you guys get this on there don't worry about you know being banned or anything there's nothing to ban you for or you're doing you can't you're not cheating or anything like that, so it doesn't matter. I mean, whatever. Anyways, I will see you guys later.